if you've ever craved adventure but you felt a little bit unsure about where to start, our next guest can help you out. Joining me in the Harvey Norman Lounge today is Natalie Tambalash from World Expeditions. Good morning to you. Morning. So you organise uh, group tours and travel. Yes. This sounds pretty cool. And you've started focusing on women's only adventures. Yeah, we have. I mean, in the past couple of years, we've seen that, you know, women like to travel on their own. They don't often want to travel with their husband or partners. What do you think got, that is? I mean, they've got different ideas. You know, the, the man wants to go out cycling, the woman not so much, or the woman wants to go out and experience something completely different, the man mm. not so much. So they've got very different ways of travelling. And quite often we get couples where one will go off, one will go off, and then they'll meet together. So we came up with the concept of women's only adventures, A, for those types of travellers, right. but also because there's a lot of solo single women out there that you know want to get out there but are a little bit timid or a little bit not sure of the situation or the country mm. that they're going to and want to go with someone that's more trusted and reputable. They want to go travelling, but they don't actually have anyone to go with as no. a buddy, so they want to try something out. Yeah. Um, so what are some of your most popular women's only destinations? Um, at the moment, our our most popular would probably be the likes of Nepal. I mean, Nepal is our core product, so it's where we've started as a company, and that's where, you know, that tends to do quite well for the Kiwi market. Um, but we also have, you know, the Lara Pinta in Central Australia, which is a bit closer to home for women, um, and the likes of Canada and things as well. So, What did you like about Nepal? Oh, I went to Nepal and I was um, thrown into the situation. It was my first year with the company and we get to experience somewhere to go. And I'd never trekked, I'd never camped. I'm a high heel wearer. So, wow. you know, it, it was completely out of my comfort zone. It was somewhere I'd never been. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just amazing to go somewhere that's so remote and so different to our own lives. And the people were incredible, like the Nepalis. You couldn't fault them in any way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. So what sort of things do you do when you go? Like You, you trek. <laughs> <laughs> so it was an 18 day trek um, all the way through to Everest Base Camp which is the one that I did. That sounds so exciting. But, I mean, we cover all of Nepal, so, yeah, base camp was kind of my trip, and it's an 18-day slog all the way up. A rewarding slog all it, the way it's up. It's a rewarding slog. I mean, summiting Kalapatar at the end, you do base camp, you summit Kalapatar, and getting up to the top of the summit in Nepal is quite an achievement, even though you swear the whole way up there. <laughs> <laughs> so I bet it's one of those things that you really appreciate doing after you've you done do. it. You do, and I mean, we got down to the first stop after doing that and summiting at four o'clock in the morning, and you come back down and you're on such a buzz, but you cry, you know, you cry and you're with your teammates and you're up there and you just share this emotional experience with people that you barely know. Oh, it sounds so, so fantastic. Um, you, you run tours closer to home too, as you mentioned. So you've yeah. got one to Australia's Red Centre. Yep. Yeah, we do. About? We do the Lara Pinta Trail. So we do short versions, which are from about three days all the way to the whole Lara Pinta end to end, which is 14 days. And it's just in the middle of central Australia through the McDonnell Ranges. Um, so you do have, you know, the opportunity of trekking there. You can do shorter little trips of six days in comfort. But I mean, it is a comfortable trip. Mm -hmm. You know, you have hot showers at the campsites, oh, you good. have lamb shanks, you have all the rest of it. So oh, good. it is quite a comfortable experience. Do you have to have much training for the trekking? Like much? I, much not really. I mean, we say the fitter the, that you are, the more that you actually enjoy that mm. type of experience and the outdoors. But I mean, you don't, there's people that do it with no training, no experience whatsoever. And it's all a mental attitude more so than it is a physical one. It must be so rewarding after you've done it too. The people, you must get some great feedback. Oh yeah, we do. We get a lot of repeat travellers and we get a lot of great feedback from the people that you know we take from first timers all the way to experienced trekkers. Um, and World Expedition sponsors the Fiora Women's Adventure Race as well, which is yeah. coming up next March. Tell mm -hmm. me a little bit about that. Um, so. The first time we did it was this year, um, where we became a sponsor, and it's one of those races where it doesn't matter what age, shape, size, how old you are, what you've done, what you haven't done. It's a race where you know you get together a group of four women, um, different disciplines, like you can do kayaking, swimming, but the concept and the idea is that everyone in the team has to complete every challenge. Right, so I can't get my kayak specialist to do that, but I have no, to do it as well. No, you have to do it as well. So it's you know, being the part of the team and egging each other on and getting each other through each of those little moments as such. And I mean, there was teams in the short course that took all day to finish, but they finished. 
And that's the idea of the race, is to actually get those women out there and have the right spirit and have the right attitude and get out and about seeing the countryside as well, because it changes each and every time. So this next year it's going to be in Fakatani, right? Next year's Fakatani. Oh, sounds fantastic. Mm. Well, you've got me really inspired to something exciting <laughs> now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, if you'd like more information about the destinations and tours offered by World Expeditions, you can go to their website. The team can give you tips and advice, or they can actually organise an entire itinerary for you as well. Uh, thank you so much, Natalie. Thanks for having me.